Oh, hey, didn't see you there. But it's me, Tybug. And I know what you're thinking. Here comes my dog. And I know what you're thinking. Didn't you literally just do a makeup video? Are you a beauty guru now? And the answer is no. I am not a beauty guru. This isn't a beauty channel. I mean, if you want it to be, it can be, you can just watch my beauty videos, I guess. But what we're doing today, if you've read the caption, I'm trying foundation for the first time ever. Well, I had this one foundation, but it was a shade too light. It was really sticky. I just didn't like it. But I'm not gonna reveal what foundation that was because it wasn't their fault. It was, it was just a personal preference and obviously I had the wrong shade. Hair is up. I actually brought down everything I needed this time, so that's awesome. Shaking up my Fenty Pro Filter Soft Matte Primer. And I guess this time I have to put it all over my face. That's very odd. Cause yeah, foundation goes all over your face. I'll need a lot more this time, I guess. So I'm just rubbing that off. I forgot to do my cooling water. Well, when I went to Sephora to try this out, um, the foundation, they were really nice. They got like multiple opinions to make sure it matched my skin cause I told them about my horrible experience with not matching foundation. And I think that's the reason why I haven't worn foundation because I have, I'm terribly afraid of wearing foundation that doesn't match my skin. Like, I notice when people's foundation doesn't match their skin and I'm just like, honey, what are you doing? But yeah, so the foundation I got is the Dior Forever Undercover 24 hour full coverage in the shade 41. How do I do this? And this is a very expensive foundation. I guess it's not the most expensive. You're supposed to shake it up, but it was very expensive. But what I need it for, I'm doing a lot of filming stuff, this type of filming and then TV filming and not really movie filming, but a lot of high-end camera filming right now. And I just need something better. And this one had the most, the best reviews. It had what I was looking for. And the number one thing I look for when I look for um, makeup is paraben free. I look for paraben free makeup because parabens are really bad for your skin and they are cancerous causing. So you don't want that. I hope this is all you need to do. I'm kind of having a hard time seeing this though. So, it doesn't really have that strong of a scent, which is nice. Make sure you blend your chin and into your hairline. What I did is like, I just did a squirt. <laughs> squirt. I didn't even put on that much and it's covering a lot. This is supposed to be a full to medium coverage. I guess I'm just getting a medium coverage right now. Gonna put a little bit more on. That's all I'm putting on my hand. I hope you can see that, because otherwise that would be embarrassing. I really like this because it just feels super duper soft when you're putting it on, and like, it feels like a moisturizer. Foundation is so bothersome though. Like, you have to put it everywhere. I feel very pale. I know, like, my skin has a little bit of discoloration because I do have tanner skin, and when you have tanner skin, it's just easier to see the discoloration. So, that's that. Ooh, and I'm sweating. What was I saying again? Oh well. The only thing I'm worried about with this foundation is creasing, so like, I just crease a lot. I wonder how this looks on camera. Does it look horrendous? How long do I have to blend for? You know what else I don't know what to do? When am I supposed to put powder on? Do I put powder on after this? Do I put powder on? I also got a new powder too. So, what was I saying? I keep getting distracted. I've had such a hard day. I voted for the first time today. Use your rights to vote, man. Okay, let me cover up my foundation. I really like this foundation. I hope it works out good. It's kind of 
kind of already settling into my smile lines, which kind of makes me sad. But, but, I've not put powder on yet, so we'll give it a fighting chance. Okay? Okay. I've been watching a lot of uh, makeup videos, trying to learn how to do it. Everyone does it differently. This is my matchstick trio in uh, it's the 300 set. This is caramel. I'm going to, I don't really need to cover up my cheek problem areas. Where am I putting this? I guess I can do the under eyes for once. Let's just try that. That's weird. So let's do that as well. This is odd for me. I don't know what to do. In my mirror, I look really nice. I don't really blend my neck that much. I should probably go bang. What was that language? Um, that doesn't really sit that nicely on top of this uh, foundation. Uh oh. Uh oh, spaghetti -o, I'm in trouble, yo. Okay, next I have this Laura Mercier translucent powder. I asked if I should try the tanner one because I'm tanner, and they said no, the, this one will be fine. How the freak do I open this? Help! <laughs> oh, wait, there's a sticker. Okay, I got this. Supposedly, you're supposed to wet whatever you use the um, powder with, so I guess I'm gonna wet this beauty blender. I've had it dry for the longest time, but it's odd. I guess it's supposed to be wet. So, I have it wet. I'm gonna try and get some powder out into here. How do I do this? Did that work? Oh, shoot. That did work. Yikes. Yikes. The reason I got this powder was because Everyone was raving. I don't think this was supposed to be wet. Everyone was raving about it. And I hope it doesn't have any flashback because that was the reason why I was looking to replace my other powder. It looked like a croissant roll. <gasps> Let me get a try brush. I have my e.l.f powder brush. That all got in my eye. Laura Mercier, I think I need your press powder, not your loose powder, because I don't know how to behave with loose powder, obviously. Did that bake for long enough? Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. You know what? All the beauty gurus who told me to wet my powder, whatever's, go suck on a beauty blender. So I got the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer because I feel very, I feel mucho pale. I don't want the bottom part, I want the top part. Okay, this is what it looks like. It smells like coconuts and I hate that smell so very much. Okay, I'm going in with an angled Costco brush. Do I have any of this on here? Yes. Coconut. You wanna hear a story of why I hate the smell of coconut? Because, it's kinda gross, prepare yourself. Um, I'm just putting this on the edge of my face too. Don't know what I'm doing at all. Okay, Oh, I hope the smell doesn't ruin me using this. Anyways, I was at this kind of adventure park thing, and they were cracking open a coconut, gonna give it to us raw, give us the coconut, what is it called? Coconut meat. And I was a very little kid at the time. I was like, heck yeah, I wanna eat coconut meat straight from the coconut. I am adventurous, I know what I'm doing. There's no way this could go wrong. So, tiny little me, adorable me, stands up. Oh, I'm putting this right by my nose. <gasps> Ow! My eye! I'll 
really stabbed myself that time. I'm crying. Adventurous little me stands up to get some coconut meat. I'm ready for the coconut. I'm ready, I know what I want. I have my little hands out. I'm getting the coconut meat. Everyone's taking pictures of me. They're like, yes, this adventurous little girl is getting some coconut meat. I put the coconut meat in my mouth. I chew, I try to swallow, and I throw it up. Everyone's taking pictures of me because I'm a cute little kid and I throw up everything right then and there. And ever since then, whenever I eat coconut, smell coconut, drink coconut, I remember that time and I think I may have made myself allergic to coconut. Well, let's just blend this out. Don't know if it did anything. Don't know if I'm too tan for it. I hope I'm not. Let's do my eyebrows. That'll make me feel better because I'm skipping the hot, um, is it? Um, make me brow by essence because I'm skip. Mother freaker! Hey, hey, you, you, what is wrong with your makeup? I don't know because I don't know what I'm doing. My eyebrows look very strong right now. Woo! Rock Lee, anime reference. Who are you? Broccoli, stand down. I'm taking the eyebrow game. So, matchstick trio again in rum. Please don't mess everything up. Okay, let's blend it. Let's do mascara. And guess what? My mascara's been clumping on me recently, so that's awesome. This is better than say X2 faced. Don't. Do me dirty. Bottom lashes? See or no? See? Okay. Guess what I remembered? Chapstick brand chapstick. Slather that on. You know, beauty girls nowadays, they skip over applying their foundation because I guess they just assume everyone knows how to put on foundation. Well, newsflash, I'm the only human being in the United States over the age of probably 10 who doesn't know how to put on foundation. Fenty, ooh, too glossy. Fenty, gloss, whatever's. What is this called? Fenty Glow. Let's spray. Do we finish NYX? How do, oh wait. Take down your hair. Pretend you're a beauty guru. Do your montage. Woo. And that's it. I did foundation for, the, oh, what the freak? That was a giant clump. Did foundation for the first time. Learned I still don't know what I'm doing with makeup. And it looks pretty good though. Messed up on my eyebrow a little bit. I'm happy with this foundation. I'll check in in like a little bit to see how it's still holding up after I'm doing cooking because I'll be strenuous. Because you know me, can't do anything simple. Okay, that's all I have for you guys today. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Hey, so it's been about an hour. I just filmed part of my cooking video. And so far, my makeup looks pretty well. It looks pretty good. Feels really lightweight. I like it a lot. Didn't really blend out on my highlighter that well, but I think that's because I put powder on before. And I guess while I have you here, I'll, whoops, lighting. I'll kind of go on a little rant of why I got a, such an expensive foundation. So I was researching foundation that shows up really well on camera. Look, hey, I'm talking. I was researching foundation that looks, well, looks good on camera and 
It's good for oily skin and people with acne because obviously I have acne. And um, just that look that lasts a long time. And this was the foundation that I saw that I liked the most. It had the best reviews and it just, there are more expensive ones that were probably better, but this one was, I was willing to spend this much for this foundation. And the reason why I didn't try out um, foundations that, from the drugstore is because I have a big problem with that because you can't try the foundation at drugstores. So you don't know what shade you are. You don't know if they oxidize or not. You have to watch videos and obviously people on videos don't have the same skin pigmentation as you. So you don't know how it looks on your own skin. And if you were able to try foundation and concealer at drugstores, I would get so much make so many so much more makeup at the drugstore honestly, but you can't. And that's why I'm more hesitant getting foundation and concealer and that type of stuff from the drugstore so that's why my makeup is more of a combination between it all because you can't try a lot of things at the drugstore I know like at Macy's they carry some drugstore brands and you can try them out like NYX I guess does make NYX count as the drugstore brand I know you can try it out there whatever but they just at drugstores you can't try out the foundation and concealer so what's the point of getting that if you don't even know if it'll work on your skin if it's not even the right shade so that's why I got the Dior makeup and yeah face looks pretty good I like see myself in the mirror I'm like who is that doll I'm like hyping myself up and stuff so it's always good to hype yourself up that's my one hour update um I'm not gonna be wearing this for 24 hours because as you can tell it's dark outside so I'll probably be wearing it for like three more hours then I'll take it off but that's it bye okay so this is a two hour mark Still looking pretty good. Um, I'm not creasing on the, what are these called? The smile lines. And I only have marks here because I didn't blend it all the way, so that's nice. It looks really good still. I'm, I'm happy with it. I like it. I was just laughing a lot because I was watching Vine compilations. Blech, compilations. So that was kind of testing the laughability, I guess. And maybe I'll go watch. Hi, Nika. Maybe I'll go watch some sad videos and see how it lasts with crying. We'll just see, because apparently I'm staying up late tonight so I can ice those cupcakes in the background. So, <laughs> yes, Mika, I'll be there in just a second. So I'll check in with you guys later, bye. Okay, so it's the five hour mark and everything's still looking really nice and I love it a lot. There's a little bit of creasing by uh, my smile lines, but that's to be expected because I smile a lot. Anyways, so that's all I have for you guys today. I give this foundation a thumbs up. I think I'll be wearing foundation more. And I guess I'll see you guys next week. Bye!